President Trump, you seem to suggest that Syrian refugees are a, a Trojan horse for potential terrorism, uh, while the Prime Minister hugs refugees and welcomes them with open arms. We're actually taking people that are criminals, very, very hardened criminals in some cases, with, uh, which a, with a tremendous track record of, of abuse and problems, and we're getting them out. And that's what I said I would do. I'm just doing what I said I would do when we won by a very, very large electoral college vote. And uh, I, I knew that was going to happen. I knew this is what people were, were wanting. And that wasn't the only reason. That wasn't my only thing uh, that we did so well on. But that was something that was very important. And I said, we will get the criminals out, the drug lords, the gang members. We're getting them out. Canada has always understood that keeping Canadians safe is one of the fundamental responsibilities of any government, and that's certainly something that we're very much focused on. At the same time, we continue to pursue our policies of, of uh, openness uh, towards immigration refugees without compromising security. And uh, part of the reason we're, we have been successful in doing that over the past year, welcoming uh, uh, close to 40,000 uh, Syrian refugees, is uh, because we have been uh, coordinating with our allies, the United States and around the world, to demonstrate uh, that uh, security uh, comes uh, very, uh, very seriously to us. And that's something that we, uh, that we, uh, that we continue to deal with. We have to create borders. We have to let people that can love our country in, and I want to do that. We want to have a big, beautiful, open door, and we want people to come in and come in our country. But we cannot let the wrong people in, and I will not allow that to happen during this administration. But there have been times uh, where we have differed in our approaches, uh, and that's always been done firmly and respectfully. The last thing Canadians expect uh, is uh, for me to come down and uh, lecture another country on how they choose to govern themselves. My role and our responsibility is to uh, continue to uh, govern in such a way that uh, reflects Canadians' approach and uh, be a positive example in the world.